everyone. This video is going to go over the steps for creating a dome using any pattern. The pattern that I used for this design was a pattern that I found online. That was just for being able to save some time and show you the steps fairly quickly. But you can do this with any pattern that you create yourself. I have other videos that go over the steps of creating uh, similar domes to this with the same steps and create, getting different effects. First, what you want to do is you want to go online. You want to find a pattern. So let's, uh, and you do want it to be a vector pattern. That way, you can bring it into Rhino uh, without issues. So let's type in pattern DWG. Um, let's let's see how that goes. And then type in free, just because we want it to be free. Uh, free patterns. Let's see. Okay. You depending on w which one you want, you, we could pick any one of these and make it into a dome. So, let's pick an interesting looking one. Let's go with the simple one. Let's go with that one. Ooh, that's interesting. DWG, and so if you have a folder already created, you want to place that there. Um, let's see, where do I have it? Here tutorials. So let's do pattern. Go here. Take this. Put it there. Okay. And now we're gonna take this pattern. Let's open it and take a look. That works. That works. Regenerate. It's looking good. Okay. It's just confirming. And so we're going to take this and bring it into our Rhino file. And you just want to insert the file. Because I already have the, um, the drawing units and everything already figured out. So let's go here, top view. Explode. Let's see if it's, I think it's a block. Yeah, it was a block. So what you do is go explode block. Now we have here our lines. Uh, let's purge to get rid of everything and call this pattern 2D 2D pat 1. Okay, now we can go ahead and create our dome. create a, uh, there's different ways to, we can go ahead and do this. Let's go in here. Three point one two three. Now we have that there. We lock everything. Let's go here. Here. Center. extrude this curve to the height of how you want the dome. So this one I'm not going to make too tall. I'm going to make it a shallow dome. And uh, let's see plane. Put the construction plane here. And then let's create the, the arc. Starting here, ending here, and direction. Oh. Start point, end point, direction. And that way we have our seaplane world top. Now we have our dome form. So we can sweep around the, the rail and then the cross section. Boom. Now we have the pattern. We have the dome. 
and now we have the project the projection right make that red and so what you want to do is select the pattern select objects you select the outside one and now we're going to project to this surface lock and hide oh lock and hide it and now we have the dome form locked and hidden so here's our dome and so if you have the dome pattern already there there's actually some interesting things you can do at this moment you can go to shaded view and if you so let's let's make this dome one and let's actually duplicate layer and the objects so let's do this is dome two dome one we're gonna make um, like a dark gray and dome one we're gonna make like turquoise so we hide and lock that one and we take this whole thing type in trim We're going to start trimming out portions of this. Because that's going to help us. What I'm doing is I'm keeping the inside form. I'm going to use that as glass. Same with this. Take all of this out. And that's going to be kind of the... the that's going to be the opening. There's going to be some solid and some trans transparent uh, forms. So you can take your time. Make sure it's clean. And OK, I think we got them. So what I like to do is select these objects and just deselect the ones you want to keep because there's a lot of stuff there that will take a long time to fix. So we have here, ha. We can go ahead and select these objects and trim out the inside. Pretty sure you could do that. And so let me do that at the top view. So, uh, that one didn't trim all the way. So, how do we rotate this? Rotate that. So, let's mirror this from here to here. Oh, no, we can't mirror. We have to rotate. So, rotate from here, from that point to that point. It's symmetrical, so it makes sense that it would work. And if you sometimes don't copy them, what I like to do is I go at, when I'm at the second step and I've already missed one I do control C to copy that one then I undo and I do control V and so it's kinda like a copy paste um, now we can take use a different layer uh, duplicate edge and select the object select all of them so now we have Sometimes it, if it doesn't trim, you're going to have to use a curve. So here we go, trim. So let's try to project. Oh, it's because it's locked. I could have probably done that before. See, sometimes I figure out how to do things as I'm doing it. So apologies on that. OK, so now we have glass, we have that, and we have the pattern. What I like to do with the pattern is create some pipes. So let's select the object here under pipe. 
let's type in pipe round cap let's see depending on what scale it is it'll either be too big or too small so let's scale this up bounding box and we can scale from here to here we'll say that's 50 feet that's a large building or a large dome so let's select that object let's go here to pipe let's type in pipe radius let's keep it at one let's see how that looks so when we hide it we have this very cool looking dome shape now there's so many things we can do it from from this point on um, but for now I'm just gonna uh, do a quick render let's I'll I'll try to speed up through this this portion of it <laughs> 